I just downloaded all the footage from yesterday after doing a max speed range test and come to find out that my mic wasn't working the whole time so I was talking to myself for two hours didn't record anything I went all over the place I even had to walk it a little bit so you you don't even get to hear my commentary for my walk of shame the scooter is really great not a lot to hate about the scooter you know there's definitely some things that need to be fixed on it but no scooter's perfect I don't expect it to be but this is pretty darn close yesterday it was between like 43 degrees Fahrenheit I got 31 miles of range but I was mashing down on the throttle I'd stop and go but as soon as I'd go I'd go up to 60 of course there's there's pedestrians around I was just cruising around so I'd say about four miles five miles of it was really slow riding but the rest of that 31 miles was just me pounding the throttle as hard as I could one of my favorite things about this scooter is how stable it is at high speeds I love the steering I love the wide handlebars wide and tall handlebars really feels nice it's pretty incredible I don't feel like I've never I don't feel like I've ever needed a steering damper while riding the scooter I would much prefer a trigger throttle the reason why I prefer a trigger throttle is because of my ability to lift and, and throttle at the same time which I can do you can do okay it's like but it's just different it's just not you you basically have to like wrap your thumb around it a little bit and pull but it's it's definitely a lot easier to to lift and push a throttle when it's a, a trigger throttle not a thumb throttle I wish I could adjust the suspension on this um, just a little bit I like it for high-speed runs on the street on the road I'm fine um, but I just wish I could adjust it a little bit so depending on if I wanted to go into the off-roading I'd like it a little bit softer um, on the speed runs I'd like it even just a little bit more stiffer but it is still pretty stiff and I haven't had really any issues with it but overall acceleration on this beast is incredible it's really just maddening how fast the scooter is and um, very similar to the Bronco the acceleration curve to me and this versus the Bronco is, is very similar I haven't done any 0 to 60s on it yet but I, I'd say they're pretty comparable the Bronco is slightly faster but um, yeah the other thing is is this throttle does have a little bit of a dead zone on it but I'm mashing down on it it's pretty hard so it doesn't really bug me at all then here we go 30 33 and this this display is about four miles per hour off so yesterday I said I had a max speed of 63.3 my Strava app I was going 58.9 miles per hour so 4.4 um, mile difference on the display versus GPS reading and then I'll get some draggy information just to show you guys as well I'm gonna put on my headlights right now because we're not trying to do anything except for maybe a, a top speed run so yeah this is amazingly fast scooter I have no problems at all with it I have no control issues uh, it is it is a little bit cumbersome if you're going to be riding in like highly densely populated areas So that's just one thing you need to think about This car is about to break free on the right lane So you got to drive as if nobody sees you it's kind of how I assume it one interesting thing about this scooter is it does not really throttle you down very much so I was at like 20% battery and I was still going 45 miles per hour so 
it, just, it doesn't really give you a lot of warning, so you just have to pay attention to the display. As soon as I hit zero, I hit zero quite a bit for like the last five miles, and then eventually just stopped on me. So it doesn't really like slow you down to like 20 miles per hour before it stops. It just kind of goes 45 to nothing. So just just be careful about that. Um, and and one thing I was mentioning too is the display on this thing is is off by about a, a full voltage every time i start this it's supposed to be at an 84 volt charge and it keeps telling me i'm at 83 or 82.8 um understating one voltage so and then it should die around 60 and it dies at about 58 volts so just be clear of that when you're at 60 you still can go a fair distance around this is up a hill and then the hill climbing ability on this scooter is pretty amazing but yeah you get lots of comments lots of people love making comment about about the scooter they love saying it's fast which it is very fast there's no doubt about that it's extremely fast 49 53 so yeah, it's it's amazing the scooter. And it just runs well. I've put a little bit over 100 miles on it right now. It says 108 miles on the display. See, I've been rallying this thing. It says we're at 47 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius on the rear. But it is really easy to spin out the tires on this thing. What do I love about this? I love the light, I love the horn, I love the Cabo look. I do wish that I could turn off these lights on the LEDs down low. So that I do wish. But yeah, stop and go. This thing's a beast. Could definitely use a little bit better brakes, but the braking power is still good. It's just, you're gonna go through these brake pads so quickly because they're so tiny. I love how stable it is. I love the sine wave controllers. Downtown is not as busy tonight. That's nice. So yeah, like that was a little bit different because I was trying to accelerate off of it. So it was harder to lift and accelerate at the same time. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Just don't love it. Um, always make sure you wear safety gear. So that's the key thing is I've got lazy rolling um, pants and jacket on. I've also got um, TSG helmet on. So that's a that's good face, full face protection. I got these strong arm brawny plus gloves on which these are nice they kind of got some little rubber protection on top leather bottoms so good protection not the best for super cold but i have these um andromeda meteor gloves that they're hard on thumb throttles because they're a little bit too much andromeda gloves are nice they protect you in the winter time but a little bit too much for the thumb throttle um i, I seem to get my finger stuck on the thumb throttle This is 16th Street Mall here. Go down to this bridge. It's called Millennium Bridge. For having such a massive battery, I did only get 30 mile, 31 miles of range, which I think is great. I know I could squeeze out three times that amount if I was only going 30, 40 miles per hour. But yeah, pretty much what I've been doing is just full throttling it as much as I can. Police are cool though here. They don't mess with you at all here. At least not yet, but I try to be as respectful as possible. I do go fast a lot of times, but for the most part, I try to be as extremely respectful as possible. This place does smell like urine. This 
So beautiful Denver, here we are. I do love Denver PEV rules. I very rarely get messed with. Still get messed with, but it's normally just Karens. I feel bad for people named Karen too, so we gotta come up with a new name. Not common. What would you call that? If you got another name for Karen, let us know in the comments. Let's make Karen great again. Bing! Somebody had greasy hands up here. Thanks. They must have been eating Cheetos before they touched this. Brake lights do suck. Turn signals suck on end on the back. Front are good. Yeah, they should not have blocked out the rear brakes on this thing. Well, all excited about the sunset. Nice little sunset going on here. I love the way these bridges sound when you run over them. Thank you. Thank you. See, that guy's nice. Some people get all pissed off with their dogs. And said he just moves over and smiles and waves. These Brownie Plus gloves are really amazing, actually. Give me full dexterity. And uh, I've been having issues with that, especially with the thumb throttle. With the trigger throttle, I don't need as much dexterity, but with the thumb throttle, I really do need it. I was with Adam in Poland, which that was amazing. Mr. Wrongway himself and Ginger on Wheels. We were running all around Poland. Also the amazing Monocat. Ew! So be careful around this blind corner. Be careful. So you can go fast in certain places, but areas you can't see around the corners, you don't know if a biker or jogger is coming around there. So be careful, man. Last thing we need is hit someone going 50, 60 miles per hour. It's got good brakes. So Zoom, I have nothing against Zoom brakes. They're just all or nothing. I do prefer nut because you can kind of kind of squeeze them and they're easier to stop and they're they feel just more equally distributed rather than all or nothing so if i slightly press down on the brakes i get a little bit where these ones if i press down on the brakes it's like all or nothing so here's bronco stadium i've been getting a lot of questions this is the copper wolf king gt pro now my favorite scooter compared to the bronco so what a fitting place to go do it at and take the pictures at. It's here at the Bronco Stadium. They're both very close. They're both amazing. Wish I had adjustable suspension. So it was fun terrorizing this parking lot though. Six. Yeah, this is really a good place to do some speed runs at until they kick you out. They will eventually kick you out. Oh, what I do love is these have a um, choice between off-road and street tires. So that is amazing. Scooters should give you the choice. I like off-road tires, but I do wish there was hybrid off-road tires on this thing, like the Wolf Wearax. These are kind of super knobby. Oh, it's a message telling me I need to buy a ski pass. What the heck was that person doing driving in my lane? Holy cow, that could have been bad. I first met my wife, she was going to school over here and I used to pick her up from school over here in the downtown Denver area. But this is a pretty cool campus in the middle of everything. This is the Tivoli building, which is the oldest building on this campus. It's now a brewery as well, but also the main student lounge, student campus center. See, that one's a little tough to like lift and throttle off of those.
shut the helmet off. So that's what's nice about the scooter. I, was, I would normally never take my hand off of a scooter going 30 miles per hour. Except from this scooter, it's pretty stable. So I was just able to reach up, grab my helmet and shut it, the visor. But I don't suggest that for everybody. I just feel comfortable enough and I've kind of tested the limits with this scooter. So I've put a, quite a few miles on it. I've ridden the other versions, the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, Wolf Warrior, Wolf King, and now this one. And this was, that's what I do love about these wide handlebars. It is a lot more stable. You could haul going to your work. You could go fast going to your work. 40 mile per hour, be fine, make it to work, have no issues at all. And um, yeah, you could, you could replace a vehicle easily. Two, one. And the front motor is 58 degrees Celsius right now, so it's pretty hot. 51 degrees Celsius, and I don't know, it, I need to figure out if it's the motor or the controller, but either way, it's really hot. <laughs> not, not the best. But I'll be down the scooters to see if they last for you guys, because ultimately there's going to be a lot of people who do it like me. And there's going to be a lot of people who never unleash the full power of the scooter, but would like to know that if they do want to go fast every once in a while, that they aren't going to kill their scooter. But as you can see, for me, I've done 100 miles of this riding, and it seems to be working just as great as it did on day one. Um, the new tires are puncture resistant, so that's what's really amazing about this scooter is you can pretty much put a nail through it and it's going to self-seal itself. It has this really like gummy, tacky stuff on the inside of it, um, similar to what run flats have. I feel like I'm a racer every time when I'm at these lights because you can see those count downs of the hand, three, two, one, and then turns yellow. Then it's like getting up on your scooter, getting ready to go, and then press it as hard as you can. Yeah, the turn signals on here are, are very worthless because they put that smoked out cover on it. I don't know why they did that. It just defeats the whole purpose of having tail lights. It's hard to see the brake light. 59.4, 59.4. And we're at 67 voltage, so we're at 50% voltage right now. So even at 50% voltage, yeah, because it's resting at 73.2, so it's about 50% voltage. It's sitting at about 50% and letting me still go 55 miles per hour. So pretty good there. I got no complaints about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get up on this sidewalk area and do it this way. good thing this thing has bright headlights so that's the one thing is the other scooters when you're coming that fast up to an intersection like that you better just slow down because the people probably don't see you but with the Cabo line the lights so bright it's amazing so I do wish they had adjustable suspension but I'm having a great time with this on the streets I am going to do an off-roading video here soon, so make sure you tune in for that. I'll let you know what I think about the suspension off-roading, but the, the Wolves have always done really well off-roading. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for the support. And when you ride, make sure to wear your safety gear. Phew!